2017 is a year that will live in infamy in my house. I'm glad it's over. It is not a year I ever want to repeat again. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, we are currently on a journey to pay off more than $250,000 worth of debt. And I am doing it with my husband, Mauricio, and my daughter, Melina. And on this channel, we talk about finances, but we try not to do it in a boring way. We try and make it fun and we try and walk you through our financial lives. If that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because we're having fun and you should be part of it. So today I got a bunch of my YouTube friends together and we are doing a collab on our 2017 financial wins and fails and or how we did on our financial goals or, you know, an end of the year, year in review sort of thing. So I will put the playlist and a link to everyone's channels down in the description box. Make sure you check them out. And if you are coming over from one of those other channels, hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. In case you didn't figure that out, I'm a little sarcastic. It's a thing on my channel. So I am gonna walk you through the goals that I set at the beginning of the year for 2017. Goal number one, 100% of my income from 2017 YouTube is going straight to debt. That would be financial goal number one. So yes, 100% of my YouTube income this year went minus taxes went to our debt. Without a doubt, we put way more to debt than we did earn on YouTube, for sure, a lot. So yay, that's a financial win. And just so you know, these aren't all wins. Financial goal number two. So financial goal number two is that I get a pro promotion at work. Yes, I got a promotion in March of this year and I started in April. So I have been doing that for the last eight months and I have loved every minute of it. Financial goal number three. Goal number three, Mauricio is gonna finish college in 2017. I am so happy to say that Mauricio did finish college in August of this year and he just received his diploma three weeks ago and he, we were so proud of him. To carry a full-time job and a full-time school load all at the same time is a very impressive feat and Mauricio did it like a champ and he got... He got a really high GPA. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it, it was like a 3.8 or a 375, something like that. So pretty dang impressive. He's a smart cookie and I love him. Financial goal number four. Goal number four is that we are gonna start our sinking fund. And I've gone ahead and gotten a Capital One 360 account, which will get us started with that. So this was also another win. We did start sinking funds in January this year and we fully funded them every month. We did have to use them a couple of times throughout the year and we did use our Christmas fund this year and it was awesome. I was so excited. I think we will be upping our Christmas fund next year because we did end up taking $500 out of the budget to go ahead and put extra towards Christmas. It was actually 550. Um, so I think we will probably raise that a little bit so we can have more money at Christmas time this year. Financial goal number five. Why? Goal number five is an actual financial goal, and that is that we are going to pay 50% of our income towards debt. So I am sorry to say we did not make our goal of 50%. I was super bummed about this. We made it all the way up to 47%, but we did not make it to 50. But it is what it is. 47% is still good, you know? I, I'm pretty pleased with it. So some months were good, some months were bad, but we were between 40 and 60% most of the time. While I got you here, let me tell you how much we have paid off so far on the Dave Ramsey plan. We have paid off 108,000 
$496.44 on the Dave Ramsey plan. We started this journey in April of 2016. We have a long ways to go. So yeah, if you see my intro from forever ago on my homepage, on uh, my channel, yeah, it, I said under three years, it ain't gonna be under three years. Let's be realistic here. So, but we are doing the best we can and every month is a learning experience. And if you are new to my channel, I will tell you, I am 100% honest with you guys. When I fail, I fail. And I tell you, I don't try and hide it. I, I overspend, I frequently overspend. And you know, I don't whine about it. I don't cry about it. I tell you what I did. I am trying to learn how to be better financially and you will see our budget change every month. Some months I will put extra spending money in and the Dave's Ramsey purists, you know who you are. You're gonna call me out on, do I really need that or not? And I will tell you, I agree with you. I don't usually need it, but sometimes I still buy it. And sometimes I don't like the tortilla warmer. And if you didn't see that video, I will actually put a link to it up here in the eye in the sky, um, where I talked about all the things that I bought online this month that were not related to Christmas because there were several things. I'm pretty much five dollaring myself to death. <laughs> Ms. Kelly is texting me and I can see it popping up on my computer. So I'm going to go. Do you know Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget? I'm sure you do. She's awesome. She's my YouTube BFF. If you don't, I'll make sure you check her out. And don't forget to go check out all the other channels participating in the collab. They're down below in the description box down there. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See y'all.